What's happening everyone? My name is Phil with PrecisionLED.com and today we have a 2008 Ford F250 we'll be doing an interior LED installation on. Now this installation is compatible with year models 2007 through 2010 and is also compatible with any of the Lariat, Super Duty, King Ranch, Quad Cab versions of the 250, 350 as well as the 450. Now for today's installation we are going to be doing a conversion on our front and rear map and dome lights, the rear truck bed lighting, the backup reverse lights, as well as the license plate lights. Today we're using a Precision LED 5730 style LED kit from PrecisionLED.com. And with that kit comes three interior trim tools we'll be using to assist with that installation. Now for your rear truck bed, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver. And for the backup reverse lights, you will need an eight millimeter socket and socket wrench. Let's go ahead and get started. Looking at one of the two overhead consoles, this is the one in the front for the driver and passenger side. Now, these overhead consoles are the same for both the front and the rear, so we're going to show you this process once. We're using the flat end here of our serrated knife tool that comes in your kit, and we're just going to pry from the side here and pry down. And you're releasing some pressure clips. And if you look, those clips are here and here. And there really is no good way to do it besides applying some pressure evenly until it separates. Once you have them out, you have direct access to the bulbs. These are Festune type bulbs. And we're gonna replace them with our LEDs. So as you can see, I just took the flat end here and just used it to pry out to push them out. We're now replacing with our LEDs. You want to make sure that these clamps have enough grip and so you can use your fingers or a pair of pliers to squeeze them back together a little bit. When you remove the bulbs it kind of pushes them out just a little and loosens them. So you're just tightening them back up. These LEDs go back into place. Pretty simple. Now these are polarity non-specific. They have uh, a certain type of circuitry that allows them to work whether they're plugged in one way you flip it around 180 degrees and change the leads they're still going to turn on the standard 50 50 style um, is polarity specific and will require you to make sure that the orientation of that bulb is correct so as you can see this one's kind of turning on and off that means that the clamps on one on each side are a little bit loose so you're just gonna push them in a little bit to make sure they have a good connection. See? You wanna test them all to make sure they work. That one's your uh, center dome light, that one's gonna stay on. And when you put this clear lens back in place, you wanna line it up, just apply some pressure And you're all set. We're looking now at the truck bed lights uh, on our Ford F-250. Uh, there are two screws. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver to remove all one on each side. And this should pull away pretty easily. Just like that. Now you have your center brake light and your two trunk lights, or truck bed lights. And since these are always on, I'm gonna have to get a, uh, like a rubber glove to remove them just because they will be hot. Twist counterclockwise to remove, come right out. And remember, these are hot, you don't wanna burn yourself. And you're replacing them with a new uh, T10, 10 LED format bulb. Now for these bulbs, you wanna make sure there is a small wire lead on each side. You want to make sure you take your nail and you push them out to the edges. And that's to make sure they make proper contact with the connector itself. These are the premium versions, so they're not polarity specific, meaning I can take them out, turn them around, and they still turn on. If you use the 50-50 style LED, 
Uh, they don't have that circuitry and you will need to make sure the orientation is correct. Do the same motion on the other side. Once you have them in, console goes back in place. Now you don't initially want to go too tight on either side. You want to place them in and then tighten. And that should be all. We're looking now at our rear tail light where we have our reverse light. You're going to need that eight millimeter socket and socket wrench. There's two bolts here, one here and one at the top. I'm just going to start by removing them. Now that you have it off, it might be a little bit difficult to get this out if it's the first time this is being removed. So we have from our kit, the crowbar shape tool. You're going to use the fat curved end of it, stick in one side here, and you're going to run it down the side to help release. So once you get it down here on the side, you kind of rock it back and forth, and that pops it out from the two guiding pins that are holding it at the bottom. And now you can pull out. There's two lights here. The top one is your backup reverse light. You're just going to turn counterclockwise to remove. and pull out, and there's your bulb. You wanna make sure that that rubber seal, this blue seal, stays in place, um, or it may, it may come off and end up on the bulb side here, but you just gotta make sure it stays, and that keeps the water seal tight. This bulb is pretty easy to replace, you just pull it out. Identical to our truck bed lights, you have the wire leads on these 10 SMD T10s, and you're going to push them in. Now if you've got a friend who can uh, put the vehicle into reverse, you can go ahead and test those lights. There you go. Now that we know that they work, go ahead and insert them back in, line them up. Turn clockwise, and that locks it back in place. Once you have the light back in place and tested, these sets of leads and these leads here need to go into um, this side of the truck first before it'll reassemble. So when you're reinstalling, you want to make sure that those pegs line up. And when you have them in place, give it a shove, and those pop back in. Don't forget to put your two screws back on. You should be all set. We're looking now at the license plate light on our Ford F-250. We're gonna be using our um, one of the ends of the crowbar shape tool. There's an indentation here that you're inserting, inserting from, and you're using it to push down one of the clips on the side, and then you're pulling out. When you have one side up, you can just jiggle it loose, just like that. And you can see what I did here. I was pushing um, on this tab here, and then forcing this entire assembly over so I could push out one side, and then I just jiggle it out. Um, if you do have access from behind um, the bumper, you could push these in yourself, but from the exterior, you're gonna be using this tool. Now that we have it out, twist counterclockwise, you get access to the bulb. Now for these, we're gonna use our standard 50-50 style SMD LED. These ones are polarity specific, so once you have them in, go ahead and turn your lights on to see if they work. And if they don't, 
Oh, there you go. This one's intermittent only because these leads here are a little bit off, so you want to adjust them. And there you go. Once you have them back in, cap goes back on. You turn clockwise to secure it in place. And you're going to push those back in. And that's it. And that's the end of the installation. If you have any questions or concerns, please email us at help at precisionled.com or you can reach us online and submit a support ticket at www.precisionled.com slash contact. Now, like we said before, please like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video or enjoyed the process for what we do. It really does help us out when we make the next one, knowing that there's people out there watching the videos. Have a good one.